Hey everybody, it's Rick Trummer from Rick Trummer Consulting and Training and welcome to Retouching Week. We're going to be going through some quick little tips on retouching this week and the first little tip is dealing with eyeglass. It's probably the most common problem that I uh, have when I'm working with it. How do you get out that glare that's inside the eyeglass itself? So we're going to work through that. This is actually a tip that I got from Don Emmerich, who I think is one of the greatest technicians uh, out there. To be so we've got your final image here. You can see that there's a little bit of glass glare in here. One of the things you're going to have to do inside the is you're going to have to make sure that you get one shot of just the eyes without the glasses. In it. So do all of the, the, the shots with the glasses in. And anytime you turn ahead in an extreme situation, you're gonna to wanna to try to take the glasses off and take another shot without the glasses. But for the most part, take one shot without the glasses, you're gonna be just, it's gonna work out just fine. So what we've got here is we've got a photograph of just the eyes itself. And the photograph over here, you can see the head is tilted a little differently. This shot's a little bit bigger than this one, but I'm gonna show you a technique around that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the marquee tool and I'm going to make a selection around the eyes. Now I'm going to go much larger than I need to, but just grab the move tool and what we're going to do is we're going to cut those eyes to the next shot over here. Once we're done with that, we can either reduce that or close it down. We no longer need that. And we're going to come over to the shot over here and we're going to be using these eyes. You can see that the eyes are in a different uh, angle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to the blending option. We're going to switch from normal to different. What this will do is kind of create a black and white area. And you can see the eyes are quite different from each other and the sizing is a little bit off. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And what I'm going to do now is just get to a point where I can see the eyes itself. So first thing I'm going to have to do is I kind of resize these. So if you match the one eye up, as you can see I have here, when it's completely black, you know that they're right on top of you. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a free transform, which is a command or option T, and I'm just going to bring the eyes up a little bit in size and realign it to back into the old one. You can see I'm real, real close. Now I'm going to just spin it, but when you spin it, it rotates from the center section. This is your pivot point. So if you grab your pivot point and move it to the eyeball, it'll now use that as the pivot point. So when you go in and bring this down, you can see that now it's pivoting from that eyeball, which is line it up. So again, I'm gonna hold down, make sure you're holding down your uh, shift key when you're doing this to make sure that you're not taking the image in the wrong way, shrink it differently. So once you line them up, as you can see here, we've got complete blackness on this. I'm gonna hit the return button. I've got these lined up properly. I'm gonna go back to normal mode and I'm going to create layer mask on top of that. Now, once I have the layer mask, I'm just going to invert it, which is a command I or a control I, depending if you're Mac or PC. And now what I'm going to do is just come in with my brush tool. I've got white in the foreground and I'm just going to come in and I want to leave a little bit of that that eyeglass part in there because he does have glasses on. So we don't want to wipe that out completely. We want to give the idea that he does still have glasses. I'm just going to wrap around or want, leaving a little bit of the edge there. Say that he's got eyeglasses. You don't want to around the room. Once you have this done, you are finished. What you've just done is you move the eyes over from an old shot to a new one, pop those in, they line up perfectly. That's a quick little three minute video how to transport your eyes in there to take care of glass. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Rick from Rick Tremor Consulting and Training. We're going to be back tomorrow with another tip inside the retouching area. Have a great day.